Oh my God, down on the coals, had to load the fireplace. It's currently one o'clock. Alexa, outside temperature. Right now, it's 31 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 57 degrees. All right, it's 31 outside uh, temperature. Uh, it's currently one o'clock in the morning. Uh, I got a right uh, now, hot bed of coals. Alexa, stop, shut up. Alexa, I had a hot butt of coals, whatever. I just put in a, a good chunk of something. piece of hard... Alexa, shut up! Alexa. Or, Jesus. I just put in a big chunk of uh, hardwood with two uh, little chunks of hardwood um, in there. I'm going to use my little puffer to start up. Alexa, shut up! All right. And uh, if you look over here... Uh, the humidity level is 25 and it's 86 in here. Okay, so that's plenty hot enough. All right, so I'll use my little puffer here. This little thing I bought, whatever. We'll throw a little, a couple little puffs in here. Let me set this down for a minute and do a little puffer. Okay, um, so I gave, used my little puffer here and I puffed it up. To get this going, I probably should have put down a couple small pieces of pine underneath those hot coals, uh, just to allow for a little more extra air gap. Uh, before I put that big piece of hardwood on there with two little chunks, whatever, to get me through the nice the rest of the night until morning. Um, so I did drop a little piece of pine right there, whatever like that. Just uh, I probably should have done that. So uh, trial trial error. That's what I thought we should have done, but I believe she'll still start up because the, uh, the fire, the fireplace is still, uh, pretty hot and radiant heat and it's 85 in here. Um, all right. When it's 30, 30 degrees outside, it's supposed to be down to 25 degrees tonight. So there you have it. Um, like I say, so I'll, uh, I'll uh, put this video back on in the morning. We'll see how this thing burns down. I believe it's going to be good. And I'll probably choke down the stove a little bit once this uh, gets going just a little bit more. I'll choke the stove down, whatever, to get a little more run time out of this. Okay, I uh, just repositioned the wood and put a couple small, uh, thin pieces of pine underneath it. And it's a good, good thing to do. And I uh, forgot the most important thing, whatever. You should always leave when putting your log in there. Um, always leave like a little surrounding air gap all the way around the log so this way it's got a little air moving to circulate all the way around the fire is the best thing to do so I actually use these tongs um, I'll probably get some more heavier duty ones whatever pick this up and I slid some nice pine some small pine uh, chunks right underneath here under the hot coals use the uh, little air pump uh, hand thing there and give it a little air whatever so now we got a nice hot uh, fire going here so that should get that doing now next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choke this wood stove down and it's always important when doing this whatever um, would be uh, you know, wear gloves and stuff because sometimes that door gets pretty hot uh, uh, so right here that gauge is right around like 250 and you always want to make sure you touch the steel the stove pipe whatever it's around 250 so it's always good now if, if this isn't hot enough and, and you're actually those coals weren't hot enough and you try to uh, do a night feeding on this to feed the fire or whatever like that smoke will actually come out the door or whatever and back draft on you so you always want to make sure when feeding the fire when you've got hot coals and it is 85 degrees in my house right now uh that you know you got a good draft still going in the fireplace to be able to feed it like this preventing the smoke to come back at you so that's one thing you want to do so always so if you still have coals in your fire and you're doing a, a one o'clock feeding like me whatever just throw a couple small pieces of pine on there before you put the hardwood on. Hit it with that little uh, air pump thing, whatever, to get it going good. And being that the uh, wood stove is still hot and it never cooled down because of those coals were radiate, radiating in there to go get it going. You can see right here the flames are going right up straight this way as they should. You hear no sizzling. All you hear is a nice good fire so you know there's uh, no uh, creosol in there. There's no steam inside the... Uh, the wood or nothing and you're all good for the night so this is episode is the one o'clock feeding so we'll look at this in the morning and uh we'll see actually what the end results are so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put my gloves on always put your gloves on it's most important i've almost burnt my hands a couple times already <laughs> um so it's a bad habit always regardless how hot or hot how uh 
cool you think maybe the door is your best to put the gloves on just to be certain because you never all right have this is uh scott again a one's man review on how to do a one o'clock feeding in your fireplace but we are using hardwood now in the big huge chunks to compare the difference on the length and the time of the burns and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to choke this thing down the halfway on the back damper and on the front damper on the front i'm going to choke it down in half so this way it gets half air and that'll prolong the heating of this and this is the best method that i found so far i was really talking to one of my friends uh an old timer that's good friends of me good friends of mine whatever pete up on the mountain there uh he's an old timer and he uh he told me that's the best way to do is just choke this thing once you get a nice stoke going. But have a good day. This is One Man Review. Have a good day. Bye. 25% humidity. It's 85 degrees in the living room. Okay. We adjusted the door here to halfway, so it's got half air coming in there. And I, you have this little back damper on the back, whatever. I shut that down, close that down halfway, whatever. And that'll slow up the burning process, whatever, so that hardwood should get us through the rest of the night. Um, so, we'll talk to you in the morning. Have a good night now. Alright, she's going good and hot now. So that was the trick to do to get that piece of hardwood going. Uh, and that should get me through the rest of the night until morning. Those new fire blocks that uh, my friend told me to put in here, that helps hold the heat and radiate it and keep it in there. Um, but uh, Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed my video and uh, had a little entertainment. And I'm um, sorry about Alexa. Sometimes she gets a little mouthy and i got to tell her to shut the hell up. But that's the way it is.